Hello and welcome to our ninth and final installment of Let's Learn How to Use the Lens Meter. Today, we're going to talk about using it to neutralize a pair of glasses. What does that mean? That means when somebody hands you a pair and you have absolutely no idea what's in them. In your kit, this is going to be considered lens meter kit number eight. However, what it does is it reuses the complete pair from kit number three. So dig around your box, find kit number three, make sure that you've got the three etched on the lens, make sure you got the right frame and the right bag. The other things that I want you to have at hand are some scrap paper and a pen. I can guarantee you with 100% certainty that this is going to happen to you on a fairly regular basis as a working optician. Somebody's gonna come up to you, give you a complete pair of glasses and say, I need to know what's in here. There are a few steps, we're not gonna get into the nitty gritty because this is really about the lens meter, but there are a couple of steps that you need to do before you go jumping right in and trying to determine the prescription that's in there. A biggie, you know, just kind of look at the glasses, uh, you know, both ways, upside down, sideways. You, you may pick up some telltale signs as you develop your skill set that tell you some things that'll be helpful. Another is make sure that they're in some kind of standard alignment. I go over standard alignment in great detail on the Optician Works website. If they were sat on bent, that's the reason the person is there getting a new pair of glasses. You can't read them if they're bent and twisted and crossed and one lens is like this. They have to be almost perfect to what the person was wearing in order to read it correctly. So pay attention to that too. Another one, which lens style is it? If it's a single vision, you're good to go. Line bifocal, if the bifocal segments are level, you're good to go. If it is a progressive lens, you've got to mark up the lens using the lens appropriate chart before you can go to the lens meter and figure out what it is that you have in there. Last but not least, I know you don't readjust the lens meter for individual use every time you go near the thing. When you're handed a pair of glasses for neutralization, make sure you take that step. Take that minute, refocus it to zero for you before you go trying to read that prescription. After that, guys, really, it's just kind of the lens meter waltz. Just, you know, right lens, right lens, right lens, rest it against the lens stop, turn it on, get it comfortable, get things lined up in there, turn your axis wheel, turn your drum, do whatever you need, move things around, move your chrome knurled sleeve if you need to, get yourself a good set of closed sphere lines, good, now, here is another place where you have to be sure you're reading in the correct cylinder form. We've been working on the assumption all along that you're working in minus cylinder form. So if you have sphere lines, turn your power drum away from you and make sure you can get closed cylinder lines. In this instance, I can't. So I have to back up, get my sphere lines, rotate my axis wheel until I get closed cylinder lines. Now, my sphere lines are there. I turn my drum in a minus direction and get cylinder lines. I've got good, beautiful, sharp sphere lines. Good. And I'm gonna take my readers here. And I have got a minus 225. So I'm gonna write that down. And I'm gonna put my R here as well, make sure I keep things straight as I write this. And I've got an axis of exactly 100 and 30, and let me get my cylinder lines in focus. All right, and now I'm at 325. So I went from 225, that's one, two, three, four. So I've got a cylinder value of minus one. So my right lens is a minus 225, minus one at 130. 
and I'm lined up well. My reticle, so I can dot that one. Go from my right to my left, get things centered up, and I'm gonna just do the waltz all over again. I'm gonna turn my power drum till I get some sphere line, move my axis wheel around, make sure that I can get, I can't again, so I'm 90 degrees off. Spin my axis wheel till I get beautiful sphere lines. Rotate my power drum in a minus direction so I have cylinder lines. And what have we got here? We've got a left is a plus 150 at 48 degrees. And cylinder looks good. I went from 150 plus 150 to minus one. That's one, that's 250. So my left is a plus 150 minus 250 at 48. That is what I read, that is what I see in this particular pair of glasses. Everything's lined up in the reticle. I could mark it. I could double check my PD, monocular PDs, height, everything else that I needed from there. Again, practice. And don't forget, there is a certain level of subjective measure here. You may not be perfect. I mean, it's, it's a manual instrument. Uh, if you're split between quarter diopter steps, you do it again, you're caught between quarter diopter steps, you are gonna have to make the call whether you go up or down. Somewhat of a rule over minus, under plus, that's really, again, kind of a subjective thing. Um, get yourself some pairs, pull them out of the donation box, whatever it might be, and just practice your neutralization techniques. Single vision, as they are. Line bifocals, as they are. Progressives, you must mark them up using the appropriate chart before you jump to the lens meter. That kind of wraps up our introduction to learn how to use the lens meter. Thank you for watching these. If you like this stuff, by all means, be sure to check us out on the YouTube channel. And of course, there's always the Optician Walks website and be an email away. I will see you next week with something new and perhaps even a little bit more exciting than what we've been doing. Thanks. Thank you.